The MBTA just released its three-year plan to improve safety. Transportation officials say every issue brought up by federal regulators should be fixed by the end of 2025. But the T is going to need more workers to run a reliable service. As WBZ's Nick Giovanni shows us, the T's trying a new way to try to recruit help. While the wheels are now in motion for the MBTA's new hiring campaign, the T is preparing to up the ante. I think they need more employees, to be honest, and more people that know what they're doing at the job site uh, as far as fixing the track. Effective April 15th, the MBTA has announced its sign-on bonus is going from $4,500 for bus operators only to now $7,500 for positions ranging from subway train operators to rail repairers to fuelers, a step some commuters found comforting at the Forest Hill Station Tuesday. It is, because it means I might be able to get to school on time now. The new offer comes just as a local research group, the Massachusetts Taxpayers Foundation, predicted that by 2024, the T will need about 1,800 new employees to meet its needs. Add to that another 1,000 expected to retire or leave for other jobs. The MBTA would need to hire nearly three times the number of workers as Governor Healy vowed to in her first year in office. We need to be thinking about the problem in two or three years, and I think that's really about a concerted effort to create a pipeline projects with community colleges, with vocational schools. As long as the job can get done, that's all I should, I care about basically, to be honest. And the T's planned eight hiring events between now and mid-October, including one next week. They say they're also going to be hosting several mobile recruitment events within various neighborhoods across the city. Reporting in Boston, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.